I asked you a question, Tony. Oh, I thought we were redoing the question. No, we were recording the whole time. It drove like John. It does have a nice wobble to it and a couple of clunks in the rear. I can see that's tilted for sure. That's that's got the big damage. Uh, I also see that you have you have damage in here, which is very unique. Uh, this is. I'm, I want to wait for Tony to get off the phone, but I'd like Tony to tell me what happened. I, I'm kind of. I don't really know how this happened here. It's it's going upwards, right? So the damage. If we look at the damage, it's 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 forced this way, like almost like it was rolled over but then it wasn't rolled over you know we have a, a pretty severe fender uh imprint here and then uh underneath the car it's going to look probably worse you know always when when a lamborghini crash was so low to the ground that um, the damage underneath the car is always the most severe tony can you come stop laughing at me it wasn't watch watch it's more like jiggles when you close the door watch it back look oh wow For real? <laughs> yeah it's the rear suspension's loose that's really interesting. <laughs> Tony, what happened? So, from what he says, he was driving around Red Rock, through the loop, he lost control, which couldn't have been going very fast, but lost control at Red Rock, spun, hit some rocks and some trees. So, part of the trees are inside. There is trees inside? There's a, he had the window down, for sure. I wonder, so, is his face messed up? Like, no. He the face? no. Did he have passenger? Nope, he was in it by himself. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of trees inside. Oh, yeah, see it got here too. Okay, uh, we should get this on the lift and see if there's any further damage. There's for sure further damage. I know there's further damage, <laughs> but we should, for the video's sake, let's just, let's transition into going on the lift, okay? Mario, you might have noticed my new Bentley. I did, why did you get a new Bentley? Well, I got a new Bentley because I feel like I needed a recharge. It, uh, my energy was feeling low, and just, you know, being at work all the time, I really felt like I needed a recharge. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, that could be a sign of low testosterone, which the Bentley didn't help, but I can tell you what did help. Home health. Did you know that testosterone levels have decreased over the past generations? Like my dad, Mario's dad, your dad has pretty much 25% more testosterone than the generation that we have. If you find yourself feeling tired or you have to pour yourself a couple extra cups of coffee, that's probably a sign of low testosterone. So, Bone Health is here to help. There are so many factors such as environmental changes that are affecting our generation. Today, 30 million men in the United States have low testosterone that's affecting their daily lives. Now, I am not a medical expert and this is not medical advice, but the cool part about this is Hone Health is, and they are here to help. Optimizing your testosterone can lead to increased energy, increased muscle mass, more focus, and a better overall mood, which you need every single day. Hone helps men get tested and treatment for low testosterone from the comfort of their own home. The entire process is really easy. All you have to do is collect your sample and mail it back to the lab. Once the results are ready, they will video chat you with a real doctor and a recommended and personalized treatment plan. Treatment options include FDA approved medications and everything gets delivered straight to your door. I've gotten my kit in the mail and the contents inside are super self-explanatory. You have your entire testing kit that comes equipped with your alcohol prep pads, your gauze pads, your band-aids, your blood sample collection kit, everything that you would need. And also, you have your prepaid return envelope so you don't even have to pay to send it back. So if you're feeling lethargic at work, if you're feeling lethargic at home, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to honehealth.com forward slash royalty. You're gonna plug in your information and for just $45, you'll get your at-home test assessment and you'll get your doctor's consultation today. And as Hone Health likes to say, a new you starts today.
Park Grove when you're on your way over here. I got you. Okay. I asked you a question, Tony. Oh, I thought we were redoing the question. No, we were recording the whole oh, time. Drove, drove like John. <laughs> um, it, did, it does have a nice wobble to it and a couple of clunks in the rear. So, I got about four or five of them. I love this lift. I love it. So under obvious uh, look here, the front is destroyed. Uh, I see a bend here. Oh, <laughs> the, the lower front A-arm is bent. Let's look around the back. This area of the car, it uh, has a lot of the same damage as the STO. There's a lot of imprints and dents from the rocks on the, uh, the, the, ra the ground uh, that went into the you could probably call it the chassis, right? It's like the monocoque, it's underneath. So right here has a major impact. Where? Um, essentially, see this right here? See this was cracked? Yeah. Directly below it, it's a big rock that went in. Right here too. Yeah, over there yeah. I can see that. Nice one right there. The rear, the rear has something bent. Um, this A-arm is, or this uh, lower control arm, see how it's pushing down on this? This is bent heavy. Um, these don't ever ride on those. Um, this exhaust pipe right here is, is dropped down. The gap between that side of the bumper and this side of the bumper is completely different now. So if you look right here, this is normal and this is completely open, right? Yeah. So what that means is it was smashed upward, right? So all of this gap is completely off. You got this too? Yeah, so you can see it right here. See, this is smashed up and it opens this way. We have to take the wheels off to get a little further inspection, but I would assume that our shocks on this side also damaged. We have obvious door damage, uh, window, uh, interior. There's some rips in the leather from the trees. This car may be totaled, but I, I don't know. It's tough because right now we're, we're in a really big, per, it's a really bad predicament. Um, and, and actually it's gonna be a good intro into this. You cannot get parts for cars right now, okay? Um, hence, this is why I have manufactured all of my own wheels. If you look around at all of our rental cars, they all now have a, the, the company's called Iconesis, uh, an Iconesis wheel, right? So it's a fully forged, you know, just equal to Lamborghini quality, if not better. Uh, and I have them on all the Lamborghinis, the Porsche, the uh, most Rolls Royces, all of that stuff, because when the most common damage is wheel, cracks, curbs, all that kind of stuff adds up, we are unable to replace factory wheels. They're just like completely non-existent. So I took it upon myself and we ordered 600 sets of wheels. I had to meet like MOQs in order to do this. So I kind of inadvertently started my own wheel business. So if you guys go on our website, you can look and see all the wheel designs. But uh, yes, that is why all these have there. So if I had an OEM wheel here, this would be a destroyed wheel. Let's say this car wasn't totaled and I just need to replace the fender, the rocker, some light damage and the two wheels. I would be waiting months, not, not just months, like six, eight months for a, a Lamborghini wheel. Um, and the bumper obviously is completely trashed. All the gaps up here are all messed up. So behind this bumper, there's a lot of structure, a lot of frame. There's a lot of like Would you need a pieces. new headlight since it's so scratched up? Of course, yeah. I mean, the headlight, that's, you know, obviously it's gonna look like that. I know, but would they consider that for a new headlight? Of course, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that you're gonna see this through the light, all these different scratches, they're cut into this. This is like 10 grand. Uh, it's probably closer to seven, 7,500. But uh, yeah, the lights, are, all the new LED lights from any manufacturer are extremely, extremely expensive. Uh, we'll, we'll need a new radiator here. As you can see, there's some bends in this radiator here. Uh, I can see some visible trees and look, oh, that one's super messed up. Look at that one. You can see there's a rock right in there, right there. See the bend? First look at this car, the car may only have, let's say 75,000 in damage. 
and the value of the car is 250000 It's not necessarily totaled, but because the parts are unavailable and it would take between six and eight months to get some of the pieces here, the insurance has to pay us for the time that the vehicle is down. It's called loss of use. So they're probably going to total the vehicle because it's less expensive to pay for the vehicle and then turn around and sell it at Copart, right? Versus waiting the six and eight month period, paying us the loss of use for that many hour, or that many days, which is ex too much. Um, and then having to risk the car not being ready at that time. So insurance is all about lessening the risk. And I believe in this particular case, this is about, I mean, just the bumper, the headlight, the radiators, the underskirt, I mean, minus the actual chassis damage, um, the lower control arms, the wheels. I'm adding up in my head, uh, fender, refinish, repaint, we're looking at probably 60 to 80,000, right? It depends on um, if uh, there's any other suspension damage up here. I mean, you can see that this ripped out a lot of stuff in the fender. So there could be brackets that are here. Now, if you look in this door, um, you can see it on this side, Mario. See, the, where, where the door hits, this is part of the chassis. This cannot be replaced or repaired. So if there's cracks or rips in there, which happens so often, if you guys ever are buying a used Huracan, open the door and look there. Because if the car was ever like hit in the front or has really a big impact, it rips the door mount up and you're screwed. You just, you can't fix it. You gotta like replace the whole aluminum structure right there. So uh, that's happened to us before. Really almost no damage on the exterior and the door was just like hanging off and we were like, what happened? So anyways, it's not getting on a tangent. I feel we might lose this car. So total based off circumstance. Another one bites the dust, I guess, literally. Yeah. More in the dust.